Hello children, I am Anj Nailu, your faculty of English from TBIS, Talapadmavati International School, Warangal. Well, today we will discuss geniuses. Whom we call a genius? What qualities does a genius have in him? So, I think you know whom we call a genius. A genius is a person with outstanding ability to think and perceive, with great knowledge and perception or understanding ability. The things that may not be understood by an ordinary mind, a genius mind can easily grasp those theories or principles or facts. So, a genius is a person with exceptional uh, powers of understanding or perception and knowledge. Then, can we differentiate a genius from an ordinary person? Are there any special qualities that distinguish a genius from the normal people? No. It's just impossible to identify a genius instantly the moment we see him. You might be thinking why Master is talking about geniuses. Well, there is all good reason. Today, we are going to talk about a world famous genius. In fact, he is the one his name has become a synonym for genius. You want to be a genius, I want to be a genius. In fact, everyone in this world wants to be called a genius in society. Especially your parents, they always wish that you are called a genius in your school, in your college, in your society. That gives them utmost satisfaction, being your parents. They feel proud to be the parents of a genius child. We have already discussed that uh, a genius cannot be recognized the moment we see. We only call a person a genius after he is proved a genius. He is recognized as a great mind, as a genius by this world or society. Then what qualities make a person genius? How geniuses live their life before they or recognized as great minds or geniuses by this world. Of course, in fact, a very ordinary life, very common life, they lead like any of us. Today, you are living, you might be living a simple life. You might be one among all other classmates or the students in your school, but who knows, time in future will show you as a genius to this world. You may become a world famous genius in future. So what I want to say, before a person is recognized as a genius by this world or society, he appears 
like a very common or an ordinary person with his own human emotions, affections, problems and uh, his own streaks of uh, rebellion or any kind of uh, special uh, emotions and all that. So today we are going to talk about a German uh, civil servant. For 26 years he led a very simple life in an office, a patent rights office. Then later when he was 26 years old he presented, he published his research papers in the field of science especially on the topic of light. Four papers he published successively one after another giving his impressions on light and the moving particles and electrodynamics those papers, his research papers, they could not occupy much space in journals. Only a few pages his research uh, papers have taken in that journal book where those papers were published. Once after they are published, they changed man's perception man's understanding or ideas about space, time and that's how a common man became a man of super power, knowledge, wisdom, an ordinary man rose to be a genius appreciated by the world. In fact, his name has become synonymous with the word genius. I think you have already guessed about whom I am talking now. Yes, I am talking about the man of inventions, Albert Einstein. So, in this session, we are going to see Einstein's life very closely. Uh, in fact, we are going to see him as a common human being with his own emotions, merits and demerits and uh, with his own problems and how he faced the problems in his life before he was recognized as a genius and even after that. All these things we are going to see Einstein's life at very close quarters. Then why delay? Let's get into the lesson A Truly Beautiful Mind. Albert Einstein was born on 14th March 1879 in a German city called Ulm. In his childhood days, he didn't show any qualities to understand that he was going to be a genius in his subsequent life, in his later life. He was a quite normal, in fact, he was a quite abnormal person. Why did I say like that? His mother thought him to be a freck. Freck means a person with unusual behavior, a different behavior, strange behavior. As a child, Albert Einstein appeared like uh, an unusual person. Uh, person, he demonstrated strange behavior. So his mother called him a freck and uh, uh, in fact she thought 
Einstein's head was a little bigger than it's supposed to be at that age. So when Albert Einstein was born and was growing up, he did not show any signs of uh, becoming a great uh, genius in future. In fact, his mother taught him to be a freck, a, a dull mind with uh, an unusual behavior. And he didn't know even how to speak until two and a half years. He did not speak a single word until he was two and a half years old. And when he started learning, uh, when he started speaking, he uttered every word twice. He repeated all his words two times because he suffered from stammering. He stammered in his speech and he didn't know even what to do with the other children. You are a child. You people are children. You know what to do with the other children. You talk to them. You play with them. But to Einstein, it was all an algebra. What to do with the other children. He didn't play with them. That's why the children or the playmates called him Brother Boring. They all called Einstein as Brother Boring. Very boring person. We cannot understand him. He cannot understand us. That's what the impression Einstein got in the minds of uh, public. So as he didn't know what to do with the other children, as he didn't play with the other children, he used to play by himself all alone. In fact, he liked playing much with the mechanical toys. You know, cars, buses, toys will be there. No mechanical uh, toys. Uh, he liked it very much. And when his sister Maza was born, when he saw the little newborn baby, what Einstein said, you know, hmm, fine, but where are her wheels? Shocking, no? Why do you think he asked where are her wheels? Why did he expect that his sister would have wheels? Because he spent most of his time with those mechanical toys uh, which, are, uh, which had uh, wheels on them. So his mind was so much influenced by those mechanical toys and all. So he expected that a newborn child would be having some wheels. Better he didn't ask why didn't I have wheels? Why did I have only legs? He didn't ask like that. One of uh, Einstein's headmasters once told Einstein's father that let Einstein take whatever profession in his life. It doesn't matter. Why do you think he said like that? Is it because uh, that headmaster felt that he would manage any kind of profession so easily? No. When headmaster said like that, he actually meant Einstein would not succeed in any profession. That was uh, his impression. And Einstein started learning violin at the age of six. Not because he was very much interested in learning violin, because his mother asked him to do so. And he became an amateur violinist, means he became a very good violinist, not as a professional one, but for personal enjoyment. He did not give any professional performances outside to entertain the public, but his self-enjoyment and entertainment, he learned violin and in fact, throughout his life, he played the violin.
but uh, Einstein was not really a bad student. He studied in Munich, a place where Einstein's family moved to when he was just 15 months old. And he studied well. He got all very good marks in all the subjects. But the problem was he really uh, didn't adjust or couldn't adjust himself to the order or the regimentation or the disciplinary order that the schools executed. He always, uh, uh, what you call, picked up quarrels with uh, his teachers. He always clashed with the teachers. And then finally, he felt so stifled, means so suffocated. Uh, he felt like he couldn't take breath. He couldn't take breath there. So he came out of the school when he was 15 years old. And he came out, he stepped out of the school for good. Means permanently he stepped out of the school. After that, he never went to any school.